Hi everyone. I would just like to tell you guys that for those of you that probably have a lot of your friends and your family and your loved ones, your girlfriend or your boyfriend, doesn't really matter. The point is, is that if you're like graduating from like grade school or high school or college or, you know, getting advanced payment on your uh, month's salary with your job or getting a promotion at work, you know, if any of those things both seem familiar and do happen with you guys, then if you see that your family, your friends, and your girlfriend or boyfriend says congratulations and tells you that they love you and they end up giving you a card as a way of trying to help you celebrate one of those things, don't get rid of them. Don't get rid of any of them. Because look at me. These are every single card that I've ever gotten from both my birthdays, my high school graduation, and my, my fishing achievements, and even some, like one of them, is a picture of my cousin who graduated with some degrees that she studied her butt off for. And she did a good job. I kept that around. It's kind of a memory of how much I really miss seeing my cousin. But this isn't about that. What, well actually, I don't know. Um, the point I'm trying to make is that don't get rid of any of the cards that your family, your friends, your girlfriend or boyfriend, or if you're bisexual for any reason and you like both girls and guys that's that's fine but if they give you a card to help you celebrate one of those things that I mentioned at the beginning of this video don't get rid of it keep it as a memory because the best memories of all are those that are written in cards from your loved ones your friends your girlfriend or boyfriend or both and when you look back on those cards, they say how much that that person who took their time to get that card and write the message they did in them, that shows you just how much they really do care and love you and really appreciate you and showing you that they're very proud of you. Don't get rid of those cards. Come on. I'm not getting rid of these. No way. I'm proud of these. I keep them around because I love to have a memory based off of the things that I've achieved in life. And when my family and my friends and my girlfriend, when they all pitched in, including my other friends here, when they pitched in and they got me a card to congratulate me on that achievement, it made me feel so, so good that I achieved that. But it also made me feel really, really good, mainly because I have family, friends, and a girlfriend and her family that, you know, that care for me and are there for me. And... That's the most important thing in life, guys. It's not what you get from your family. It's not what you achieve. It's about the love from your family and your friends and your girlfriend or boyfriend, or even both, and their families. When all of them are together and they know how hard you've been working, they don't go about their days to do what they want. Sometimes they'll forget, but that's okay. What I'm saying is, your friends, family, girlfriend, 
boyfriend or both in their families, they take the time out of their day to get you something to help celebrate what you achieved. And um, what I'm really trying to say here is, guys, you shouldn't get rid of those cards that, you know, those who care about you and love you have given you. Because getting rid of those is like saying, I don't really care about that. I don't really care that I achieved that. I don't really care that these guys have worked their butts off to get me a card to help celebrate what I've achieved. And what I've done with my life that I actually love. You don't want to get rid of those cards because that's going to show to those who gave you those cards that you don't care. That you don't care about what you achieved and that you don't even care about what they worked their butt off to get for you. And to put even a message in there to show you that they love you and care for you. So don't get rid of that. Don't get rid of the cards because the cards with those heartfelt messages and sweet thoughts... From like everybody who loves you and care for you, those are the best memories of all. They really are. Not the gifts, not anything else, but getting a, even a card with a heartfelt message and even saying congratulations or we're so proud of you or we knew you could do it or even both those things. You don't want to get rid of those cards because how are you going to remember those memories if you get rid of them? By getting rid of the thing that they're on, which is the card. Don't get rid of them, okay? Because getting rid of them is like getting rid of the one memory, not just of your achievements, the memory of your family and your friends and your girlfriend and boyfriend or one or the other and saying, I don't really care about that because I'm, ach I'm achieving everything I'm trying to achieve, but I don't want no memories of it. That's stupid. Keep the cards and keep any memories you can get. Even if they're celebrated with you by your family, your friends, and your girlfriend, or boyfriend, or both, and their families. You keep those memories with you. Because those are the best memories of all. Trust me. That's why I'm keeping all my memories. I love every memory that I've ever had. And all the cards that I've gotten right here. They're all in there, except maybe one, because the other, the one that's in there is kind of like, it fell apart. I only have like either the front or the back cover, but I don't really have the message that was inside that card. But do I still appreciate the card that I only have half of? Yes, I do, because it's not about what you're wanting. It's the thought of the message from the card that counts and the love and the care and the joy that you bring to those that you meet and are interested in hanging out with and stuff. That's the important thing. Okay. This is T man signing off.